As we crafted the fiscal year 25 preliminary budget, asylum seekers have come through our shelter system in record numbers. But through responsible and effective management, the fiscal year 2025 preliminary budget is balanced without unduly burdening New Yorkers with tax hikes or massive service reductions, and without laying off a single city worker. Both of our officers are here at New York City Health and Hospital, Kings County, and are expected to make full recoveries. And I want to thank the men and women of the New York City Police Department. Uh, because of their actions, a dangerous person is apprehended, and we have two officers that will be going home to their families. I'm proud to stand with HPD to announce their record-breaking 2023 in the past calendar year. We finance over 14,000 new construction start units. HPD and partners directly connected more New Yorkers to homes than ever before. We cannot take our foot off the gas. We need Albany. So last night we reached out to New Yorkers. Our city is being threatened and today, just hours later, we are pleased to say that this particular threat is ended. A violent criminal is off our streets because of good old-fashioned police work. We have continued uh, to make New York City uh, the safest big city in America. Yeah, we respect the role of the city council, but when it comes down to the safety of this city, I cannot compromise. Intro 586 requires police officers to report on the most basic interactions with the public. Drowning officers and unnecessary paperwork that will saddle taxpayers with tens of millions of dollars in additional NYPD overtime. I'm vetoing this bill today because of that.